Welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Elkan Wiesma, but ETA is fine too, to uh, keep it a little bit simple. And yes, you guys, this is an unboxing video. I just received my uh, new orchids from uh, Equigenera. So all the way from the US, they shipped them to Germany, and from Germany, they shipped them to the Netherlands, to Frisia, where I uh, live. And this is all because uh, this plant you now see in screen is, uh, is mislabeled. So I did contact them to get the original uh, McHowan and uh, luckily they still had it for sale. So they said, well, it's no problem. You will get a new plant and this time you will get the right one. And then I said, well, while we edit, why not uh, add some new plants in? So the, because they had a few plants that I really would like to grow as well. So they uh, should all be in this box. And it just uh, arrived, like I said, so uh, just uh, I'm going to get them out and uh, just have a look at the, at the plants. So uh, let's uh, start unboxing. So yes, here we are, you guys, with a uh, very large uh, box actually on the table. Uh, like I said, I'm very curious to see what's uh, what's in here. Uh, I do uh, remember a few, of course, but I am really uh, curious to see how uh, and what kind of condition the plants are. The last time they were in uh, a very good condition, and actually I did buy three uh, Miltonia Miltoniopsis uh, Rosalia Xantinas, variety Cantina, Cantinas, Cantinas. I'm sorry. <laughs> the yellow uh, varieties and I did buy three, three to see uh, well to hope that at least one would grow but all three of them are doing well and actually one is budding at the moment I see it behind the camera it has four buds not open yet but uh, soon so I'm very happy with that as well because the uh, yellow varieties of the Miltoniopsis are very uh, very rare to get especially in the Europe so if you're watching this video and you might want a yellow a Miltoniopsis as well, uh, last time I checked, Equidina still has them for sale. So the, uh, and those will uh, send it to Germany, like I said in the intro, and then it will come to your home. So if you want it or another plant, have a look because this is uh, the opportunity. And I do forget <laughs> some tape while I was chatting about these beauties. Uh, let me see. We have some tape here. Yeah, this should do this should do so here we go i'm so excited really really i'm curious to see what's in the box there we go oh. almost yep yeah, there we are <laughs> let's keep it to the side so i can uh, flip some stuff over and here are as uh, the invoice so let's put it over here because my uh, address is on there probably no not even anyhow Let's have a look. Here is the uh, first one. Uh, yeah, they are a little bit damp, so they really need to come out. And this is the Oncidium Lucy Rushinger. I hope I pronounced it well. I don't think so, but <laughs> let's uh, let's open these boxes. So yeah, this is what I do, you guys. Some people. Uh, let them uh, sit for a few for a while when they, they are have uh, plants coming in new plants i never do that i just get them out of the box uh because i think it's better to get it over with and uh, to get them adjusted to the room temperature a little bit quicker some people say that could be uh not very beneficial to the plant but i never had troubles i don't i think they need uh, fresh air especially when they've been on travel for quite quite some time it was over a week or so not not that long but long enough for the plants like i said i like to get them out and uh, give them that that fresh air so uh, well this is quite quite a plant look at these bulbs there so that looks very very nice and they do ship them uh, bare rooted maybe some specknus moss on there i see some maybe a little bit more and that's because they are uh, shipping internationally internationally there we go so yeah i need to uh up pot them and repot them sort of well the actually they are uh, out of the pot but look at the roots quite a root system and beautiful bulbs on there we have a beautiful strong new growth over here so yeah this one is uh it's very beautiful this is not as wet as i thought but this is a little bit the plant itself feels cold and a bit damp so 
yeah I'm happy that it's now out of the box so it can start to breathe again so that's the first one let's put a tag back because otherwise <laughs> we know how those things go here is the another one and on Cidium Hybrido so this is a nice hybrid uh, I will have the names probably in the other somewhere maybe here yeah Hybrida not Cidium Leocuna Leocuna let me see yeah two of those I'm not sure no one I didn't, uh, I thought maybe from one plant I did another, uh, two of those, but I'm not completely sure. We shall see. We shall see. First, let's take it out. There we go. And again, beautiful bulbs. I see a new growth there. Uh, not a strong bulbs over there, so that's beautiful. So there's some reserve in the plant. That's always good to get it and uh, acclimated to the new environment. Yeah, it's not completely bare root. It's just it doesn't have a pot anymore. <laughs> some bark on there, but it's a beautiful root system and even some growing tips over here. And I'm making a mess, of course. <laughs> But this, uh, this is uh, the lacuna, like we said. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, fairly large plant. So let's put it over here as well. And I need to get its name tag over there as well, very quickly. Here we go. So I'm sure that is this one. Let's put it over there. So here we go with the next one. This is also an uh, hybrida. This is the Antonia and the cross over there. So it is not really a uh, registered name. Let's have a look. I think I need to put them uh, behind me in a second because the box is getting uh, full. <laughs> Let's here we go. Let's get the wrapping paper off and there we go. And again, quite some roots. Beautiful, beautiful. A new growth here, and I think a fairly new one over here. Let's get it out of the way. Yes, beautiful. No flower spikes on the way, but a beautiful bulbs as you can see. Looks very healthy as well. So yeah, so far so good. I'm going to put this one over here on my tray. And of course with the name tag. So there we go. And let's have the next one. We have a few more to go, you guys. So I hope you enjoy the unboxing. Personally, I do. I'm always curious to see what people get in their boxes. <laughs> Sometimes we uh, do get inspired as well, of course. This is a Miltoniopsis, uh, Gudo's Dream. Gudo's Dream. So let's have a look. Miltoniopsis is uh, very, very easily stressed. So shipping them, but yeah, on the other hand, the uh, Rosalie eyes, Xantinas, like we just discussed, do well. So, so a healthy Miltoniopsis can take some travel, but it's not ideal, but yeah. Here we go. Yeah, this one has a beautiful root system as well. So, so far I'm very impressed. The plants do look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we have, oops, let me uh, put it like this. Well, I'm going to make a mess anyways. <laughs> we 
a new growth here, a new growth over here. Uh, here is another one that doesn't look that old to me either. So maybe it may shoot out new growth as well. But anyhow, we have uh, two so far. So those shoot out, uh, put out some roots in a distant future, I think. But I also do see some uh, root tips, even on the Miltoniopsis. So that's very, very good, of course. And a lot of roots. Probably those will die off because they are not used to my uh, cell watering system. But we uh, we should be fine. They uh, they look very strong and healthy. So uh, so far, uh, like I said, so good, beautiful. I'm very happy with this one, with all of them. But beautiful conditions. And uh, we have the next one, smaller one. Oh yeah, this order this one as well. <laughs> Let's have a look. This one is a little bit tricky for me. I will explain in a minute. While I try to take a take off. There we go. So this is uh, the Miltoniopsis Fenoliopsis, but the Alba version. So I have the more regular one, just the uh, Miltoniopsis uh, Fenoliopsis. It's actually my second plant. The first one just didn't do well for me and it basically uh, died off quite quickly. The second one is growing, but it's really a slow growing, so it's not very happy. So yeah, I thought, well, I'm going to try it, but maybe, maybe, but yeah, on the other hand, the other Miltoniopsis I do very well with, but these Miltoniopsis fairly opsis, I'm not very successful yet, so, but I think I need just a very strong, healthy plant, to be honest. I do think so. So let's uh, hope that this one is that. Here we go. Well, so far, I've got some roots again. That's beautiful. Uh, start of a new growth there. This one is a bit bigger. So let's have a look. This one is a new growth over here. And we have a smaller one over here, but that one is just a, a bit of, of a yellow yellowish i hope you can see it so i'm not sure if that one is going to make it but overall we have another one on this the same bolt on the other side so that should be fine so we have two healthy looking new growths so far actually three i'm sorry there's another one here in the middle so three new growths that's beautiful those should uh shoot out some roots in the next coming weeks and those roots should be able to adapt to uh, a cell watering setup and beautiful foliage so yeah also very happy with this one it looks beautiful let's put it over here as well and make room because we have more we have more <laughs> it's quite an order but yeah i don't always have the opportunity to buy from them and this this was for me an opportunity so i had a good look and I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy uh, a few plants that I really, really would like to grow. Like I said, this, it felt like an opportunity. So that's why I have quite a few orders. But anyhow, always nice to do some unboxings, I think. Let's put it over here and look for the name tag. Did I miss it? Yes, it's also a hybrid, but not a uh, official name. That's why they have the stickers on here, I think. But I will uh, show it to you guys. This is a Ondontonia hybrid. And I did buy this one because of the Anna Claire that's in it. I cannot find the original one, but this one looked fairly close. The blooms just look uh, very similar to that parent, in my opinion. And you never know on the pictures, of course. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. And I really do like these bulbs, the shape of these bulbs. I will uh, give a better view in a second while I'm uh, unwrapping it. Yes, there we go. Let's take it out and I see a heck of a lot of roots again. So yeah, I think I'm lucky, uh, you guys. Not that uh, I think some people did, didn't always have good plans from Equigenera, I believe. But so far, I'm, I'm personally, I'm very impressed again. And here we even have a growing tip on this one. So yeah, 
that's very very nice of course because i need to put them up they are all uh, almost bare rooted without a pot so i uh, i need to adjust them into a self-watering uh, setup so yeah growing root tips are welcome in these cases but yeah the shape of the bulbs that that rounded shape very odontoglossum uh type uh, if you ask me and also some oncidiums of course have those but i like i really enjoy those uh, those shape bulbs but the excellent endote glossum can have those really big bulbs as well but uh, yeah i really uh, really li really like them yes <laughs> so let's put them over here on my tray behind me because we are not there yet i think we have three more to go so uh, Let's have a look. This is an Oncidium. That I can see with a tag, so that has a name. This is uh, Oncidium Guildo de Berg, de Berg Grave. De Berg Grave. Yeah, I, I'm hardly can pronounce that name, but I would do it on, on, on Dutch. De Berg Grave, something like that. It's probably not, but the the, the burg is very Dutch and Graf, Graf, the Graf, would that be in German? So, in uh, Dutch, in German, I, know, I cannot even speak German. I'm sorry, in Dutch. In Dutch, I'm not from Germany. How, why did I say that? I have no idea. Oh yeah, probably because they are shipped to Germany, so I somewhere had <laughs> Germany in my mind, I think. Anyhow. Let's continue. Beautiful uh, foliage again. So that's beautiful. And I see some uh, new growth. So this looks very promising again, which is awesome, of course. A little bit shriveled bulbs, but yeah, the kind of, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We have a new growth over here and quite some roots and some did break off like here i'm not sure if i can put it in but you see there is a tip missing that's probably what was a growing tip adjusted to the pot i think that is uh, the case over here and here i see even a green one still on there so this one is uh, also in uh, in growing state in growing mind which is very beneficial so we have a new growth even over here so one here one here i see another one here that would be behind this new growth so three new growths i can see so far already so that's beautiful absolutely beautiful yes very very happy with this one as well let's put it over there yeah we are almost there you guys almost there yeah, this is the uh, replacement, so the one it all started with. And hopefully this is the right one. I think it is, I think it is. And I really, uh, I said you have great customer service because they, they didn't make a problem of it at all. They said, well, uh, you, you just get a replacement. We do recognize the one you did get, yeah, and I'm pointing that way because it's uh, behind the camera. But they did recognize it, so they give me uh, the name. It's a hybrid, but they have the parents. So th they have that one in their collection as well. So here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Three beautiful bulbs. I don't see a new growth on this one yet. Foliage does look fine. We have an old yellow leaf here, but it's an old bulb. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Why won't you? Oh, here, there you go. Yes, look at that. Roots, a lot of roots. Just checking, I don't have much roots here, and those look like those been eaten by snails let me have a give you a close-up so behind that bulb here 
You see, those are broken off, it looks like, but it, there are a little bit bits missing. Like they are a little bit, goes inside the root. A little bit like that. Yeah, you need to see it, and once you uh, recognize it, I also see some uh, snail pellets. I think the blue stuff over here left on there. I don't know if it shows up on camera. So yeah, this one is probably has some bush snails. So uh, hydrogen peroxide, which I always do, but uh, now we know why. Just checking, uh, do I see? Yeah, I even have some uh, growing tips over here. Well, this one is the most obvious, I think, but we have over here some as well. So, so far, I think all of them have growing tips. That's beautiful. Let's get a name tag with this one. This one has these beautiful yellowish blooms. So the last one, you guys, and this one has also some yellow blooms because I love my yellows. <laughs> Let's have a look. Open it up. And there we go. There we go. And this one is also a hybrid, so it has a name on a sticker. Well, I'm going to get it off in a minute. Let's first have a look at the plant. Get those unwrapped, those roots. Beautiful uh, packing they do, this beautiful packing job, I think. So far, let's uh, take the mass off. Are you new roots? Not completely sure. Very gently. So this one has quite some roots as well. A little less, but it's also a, a bit younger plant, I think. It doesn't have as much bulbs, but look at the shape of the bulb and the color on the leaves. Again, a beautiful variety. Quickly checking. Not sh really sure of that. Yeah, I think I see some snail damage on there as well. But yeah, that happens, especially when you have a lot of plants. And actually, yeah, I think uh, we need to spray them for bush snails for sure. But again, that's not the end of the world. I'm just checking, do we have some growing tips? Not really, not yet, but probably will uh, will be there soon. So uh, this one does look uh, very uh, healthy as well. Let me get the tag off. Uh, yeah, if it wants to come off. This is the last one, and that one doesn't want to come off, strangely. <laughs> Some help from the scissor, whoops, that was the breaking the sticker now. Here we go. Yep. There we are. Hi, Burrito, and this is the Liz uh, Johnson, Liz Johnson. So let's uh, put them all uh, to the side. I'm going to clean up and we will have a uh, look at them, all of them spread out on the table so we can have a, a nice close up. So I will be uh, right back in a, a few uh, seconds, minutes or so. <laughs> See you later. So yes, here are all the plants and I did count them. I did have uh, nine <laughs> new uh, plants. Like I said, it felt like an opportunity. So, uh, but here they are. And as you can see, I see a lot of roots, beautiful colors on there. So I think uh, overall these uh, look very promising. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to grow all of these beauties. Again, beautiful bulbs. I do. I really like them. So yeah, overall, uh, I'm very, very happy. A few uh, bush snails here and there, I, I think. So I'm going to spray uh, them with hydrogen peroxide and I'm also going to spray the leaves with my oil solution for you never know. And then, uh, and then I need to uh, up pot them. And I don't have much time left, so I'm not gonna film that all, but I have a lot of uh, repottings and uppottings and spraying for pests uh, videos. So if you wanna know how I do that, uh, those will be on my channel. But anyhow, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. And of course, if you like, please give it a, a thumbs up. 
And for now, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.